guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to do a ColourPop haul and swatch. Um, you guys have probably been, you guys have probably been waiting on this. Uh, when I first got my order in, I said I was going to do one, but things have kind of been crazy, so I haven't gotten around to it. And what prompted me to do it today is I ordered some more because I just loved it so much. So I got that order in today and said, hey, I think it's time to film the ColourPop haul. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll give you guys some swatches and everything that I'm wearing. Um, my eyeshadow, my blush, and my lipstick is all from ColourPop and I'll tell you which color they are or I'll tell you which colors they are and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's get into it. First, can we start with the lippy sticks? I mean, really, oh my gosh. Do you think I have enough? Because I don't think I have enough. I think I need more. These are each $5 a piece. What? $5 a piece. And can I just tell you that the colors and the wear is absolutely perfect? Okay, today for this video, I am wearing Scandi. And it looks like this. And this is what it looks like on the lips. Love it. It's a satin finish and it's really, really pretty. Next up is another one that is a satin finish and it is called Trixie. And this one is Trixie. And then, let's see, do we have any more satin finish? Yes, we have Gossip. Oh wait, no, I lied to you guys. I'm wearing Gossip today. I'm not wearing Scandi, I'm wearing Gossip. <sighs> I swear. Anyways, okay, so yes, this one's Gossip. And that's what I have on my lips right now. I thought about putting Scandi on and I didn't do it. So maybe in the next video I'll show you what it looks like. Um, okay, so let's start with the mattes that I have. I have two mattes. I have Westy and I Heart This. This is Westy. Very, very pretty, mauve kind of pinky nude color. And then I heart this. It's a really pretty kind of a berry color. And those both are just gorgeous. I'm going to move into the glossies and the hyper glossy that I have. Now, my favorite one out of all of the ones that I have thus far is bound. Now, online it looks like it's gonna kinda be like a pinky nude color. See, kinda looks like it's gonna be dark, kind of a pinky nude. But if you have looked at my Instagram, on the lips is actually a really, really pretty light pink color. And then a couple new ones that I got in today are easy and monkey now I swatched these earlier and I was kind of disappointed I would hope that they would be a little bit more different and I guess I'll have to try them on my lips to see if they are actually any different but I don't really think that they are very different in color or sheen this is glossy easy there we go glossy easy and then this one is Monkey, and it's hyper glossy. And can you tell the difference between the two? Because I can't. There we go. That one's that one. This is easy. This is Monkey. They look exactly the same to me. But whatever. Maybe one is a little bit more glossier than the other. I think it looks exactly the same. I don't think I could be able to tell the difference between the two. So if you're gonna get one, I would just get one and not both. 
Okay, now let's move on to the blushes. I am loving the blushes, and can we talk about the consistency? I'm sure that you guys have heard about all of the rave reviews about how ColourPop's um, blushes feel so different, and they do. They kind of have this like, I don't know, squishy? <laughs> Can we use that word? It's kind of squishy. And I have used, this one is Trickery. I've used it a few times and this is what it looks like but it blends out so well it's kind of like a peachy color and it does blend out super 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 pretty on your skin and I've used it quite a few times um, the one I use the most, let me wipe the swatch off, the one I use the most and that I'm wearing today is, um, Thumper. And this one kind of looks dirty because my foundation powder is not setting like I want it to. It's Clinique and I think I'm about to move on to something else because I'm not liking how it sets. Um, anyways, the brush that I've been using to put on my blush has kind of been picking up some of my foundation as well. Sorry, there's a hair in there from my brush. And um, it's gotten it a little bit dirty. So, this what it looks like. This. And then, and then if you just blend it out, it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. That's beautiful, right? I have it on, I wear it all the time. Probably why all the pretty design is off of it. And then the new one I got in the mail today is Mochi. Mopi. Mochi. Anyways, and it looks like this. And I have already swatched it. It's kind of more of an electric pink. It looks like it kind of looks a lot like Thumper. What is up with you today, camera? Focus. You're gonna focus. There. Okay. Blend it out. And I know that some people, you know, put it on with their fingers and blend it out that way. I find using uh, synthetic brushes works just fine. So that's what I have been using to put on my blush. Um, I am new to this consistency and I was kind of afraid that it wouldn't blend out right if I just put it on with my fingers and then kind of tried to blend it, which I also which I also thought that it would end up leaving, you know, like a streak and just not blending out right or again with my makeup being all weird, it's not doing what it needs to do. Okay, and then I got three eyeshadows that came in today. I got Girly, Plunge, and Get Lucky. And I am very, very sad because the Get Lucky was, it's broken. I opened it, so happy to get this package today, and it came broken. So I'm going to see if I can't maybe get a replacement or all else fails. I'll just keep it and use it, but it's gold. I would show you, but I'm afraid it's all gonna fall out. It's a really pretty gold color. 
Um, I like golds and browns and beige and stuff. That's what it looks like. So I was really, I had high hopes for that one. Oh well, anyways, moving on. Okay, and then what I have on my eyelids today, I have on Girly and Plunge. I put Girly on first on my eyelids and then I put Plunge just on the outer corners and a little bit underneath. The Girly is beautiful, beautiful, kind of like an icy white color with a little bit of sheen. Isn't that just beautiful? Perfect for summertime, perfect for um, just kind of a bright eye look. And gorgeous. So I'm very impressed. And the consistency with these two, kind of like really, really good sand. Like when you go to the beach and you're on a really good beach, and sand is squishy enough to where you can make really pretty sand castles with it. Kind of what it reminds me of, like pressed sand. And then this one is plunge. And that mark in there is from my pencil brush. And I find that these go on with brushes just fine. Now this one is a little bit smoother texture. Um, see, look, I'm just putting my finger in it. And it kind of feels a little wet. And then here is a swatch for that one. Isn't that beautiful? I'm absolutely in love with these colors. I am so excited for these. I am so happy that I purchased them. And these two also were $5 a piece. And the blushes are $8 a piece. Um, perfect pricing, perfect packaging, perfect color selection. Um, the textures are so unique and awesome and I mean just look at that combo together. I mean that's just beautiful. That would be perfect for like day out or even an evening out just to kind of give your eyes just a little bit more pop sparkle. Um, I'm really excited for um, this company and how fast it seems to be growing and you really can't beat the prices. The prices are just amazing. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, if you want to see like lip swatches of these, leave a comment down below and I will make a video of that. Um, also, if you want to see more um, ColourPop stuff, let me know and I'll order some more and <sighs> gotta make excuses to buy more makeup, right? The people want to see it, honey. I have to buy some more. Um, sorry if my personality seems a little bit weird through this today. I've been sick. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've kind of been back and forth to the doctor. We found out that I had mono. How do you get mono when you're an old Mary lady, right? Well, I don't know. Somebody coughed and coughed on me or something. I got it. Anyways, so I'm trying to jump back in it. I'm still kind of bleh, but again, I'm trying to jump back in it. So it's going to be better. Next video will be better. Hopefully I'll be back to my normal self and big goober and just whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry it was long waited. I'm so, so sorry. Um, and if you would like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, welcome aboard. And if you are here and you've been with me forever, I love you and thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tiffany and Co XO, and maybe one day we'll do a Facebook page. I don't know. That's up to you guys. If y'all want it, we can do it. Also, um, I'm thinking about doing a new series of videos for you guys, and I kind of want y'all's opinions. I did the Age of Adeline hair tutorials. I have, I think, five videos of that. And I would like to do another series of something. Um, what I'm thinking about is celebrity looks. You guys can kind of pick the category of celebrity looks or um, stuff from Pinterest. You see 
makeup tutorials or hair tutorials that you want to see done, you want me to see, you want to, you want to see me do them for you guys, um, you could tag me on Instagram again at Tiffany and Co XO, and I will recreate it for you guys. But before uh, we go ahead and do that, please let me know down below in the comments if you want to see like celebrity looks or Pinterest um, tutorials. So yeah, just let me know guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, shit. Little navy striped up here with hot pink little doodads looking necklace right here and then hot pink. That's adorable. Oh, she's and they don't get this stuff until their birthdays. Okay, and then next is a shirt. And my six-year-old, she's tall, but she's really skinny. 